So a few days ago, I made a video talking about this girl in my fourth grade class that actually used to show her fucking titties for $20. And so many people was like, Leafy, we want more stories, dude. We love your stories. So today, I'm talking about the first time I got nudes in middle school, okay? And quick little disclaimer before this video, man. I was only 13 when this happened, so give me a little bit leeway, man. But tell me if you guys want more of these stories and leave a like if you do. And uh, without further ado, let's get into this. But it was one bright sunny day in a small little town in the middle of Utah. The birds were chirping, everybody was happy, and little old Calvin was inside just playing some Fallout 3. He was just, you know, running around in the wasteland. As he's running around the wasteland, he gets a text message. And he looks down, and it's Chung Lee. That's not her real name, FYI. Now, Chung Lee was a shy girl, she didn't want to get down and dirty. But to make this story go a little bit faster, Calvin gets fucking nudes. Now, did Chung Lee have a hormone outburst, or did she just get played by little Calvin? Who knows? Fact of the matter, though, was Calvin got nudes. And to say little old Calvin, fucking 13 years old, getting some nudes from a hot-ass chick, was a little bit excited about that would be insane, okay? Calvin felt like fucking Scarface after he just got done killing 15 dudes and snorting a mountain of coke, okay? Little Calvin felt better than a global elite crushing a bunch of silvers in a silver smurf game, okay? Calvin was hyped. But Calvin went to school the next day feeling very hyped. This is the first nude picture he's ever seen in his life. The only other girls he's ever seen naked was pornos, and that doesn't count. So Calvin goes to school the next day feeling very hyped. So Calvin's walking around feeling like a badass when one of his friends approaches him, and we're just gonna call this guy Pablo Diablo. Okay, so Pablo Diablo went up to Calvin and he heard that little old Calvin got some fucking nudes from a girl, and now a lot of the people in middle school are really horny all the times, okay? Hormones are fucking flying, but there's some certain people that really got the hormones flying, okay? Pablo Diablo was one of those people. He didn't just like girls. He was fucking passionately liking girls, okay? He loved them. Pablo Diablo was one of those fucking people that would get a boner off just looking at the Mona Lisa picture. Like, seriously, he's the guy that walks to class with his fucking basketball shorts and pops a boner in class in front of everybody, okay? Okay. Pablo Diablo had the hormones flying in every single direction imaginable. So Pablo Diablo approaches Calvin and he wants those nudes now. Now back then it wasn't that popular to send nudes. This is back on the fucking flip phone days, okay? And getting nudes was really uncommon. A lot of girls didn't even have cell phones, okay? And we're in Utah as well. So everyone here is fucking Mormon. M nudes are really uncommon. And uh, Pablo Diablo motherfucking is asking for those nudes and he's not only asking, he's following Calvin everywhere. Now, Calvin was pretty close friends with Pablo Diablo, so he decides, well, Pablo Diablo, okay, I'll, I'll send him to you, but you seriously better not send him to anyone, okay? And Pablo Diablo's like, I promise I won't, I promise I won't. Now, obviously, this is the point in the story where I really shouldn't have fucking sent the news to Pablo Diablo. Of all fucking people, definitely not Pablo Diablo, okay? But at the time, it was really uncommon to get nudes. I'm fucking living in Utah, so half the people are Mormon here. She was fucking Mormon, actually. And um, it was just really uncommon. I mean, these were in the flip phone days, right? So bear with me a little bit. I, I know I should have said it, but I was fucking 13, so give me a break, man. But little innocent Calvin here sends the nudes to Pablo Diablo. Pablo Diablo gets the nudes, and he runs away into the distance. No one even knows where he's at. Uh, I don't even want to know where he's at or what he did with the nudes, because that's uh, uh, ew, 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 just ill, okay? But uh, Calvin sends those nudes, and uh, he goes back to his house, and it's just like, okay, well, I gotta play some Fallout 3 now. I gotta enslave more people. So as soon as little innocent Calvin gets home, he starts getting flooded with text messages, all with the same exact thing. Calvin, you're my hero. Calvin, you're a fuck. Fucking boss, oh my god, Calvin, you're the fucking best. And as soon as I see all the text messages I'm getting, I'm just like, fuck, dude, shit. And then after like 30 minutes of getting all those text messages, Calvin gets a text message from Chung Lee, and it reads off this. I'm gonna beat your fucking ass. So Calvin, after hearing this, gets a little bit worried. Now this girl was shy, okay? Chung Lee was shy as fuck, but she also was sporty as fuck. She took karate class, she took jujitsu class, and she also took fucking, like, volleyball and shit. She played a lot of stuff, and Calvin just, just fucking played Fallout 3 all day. 
So fast forward to the next day, Calvin's at school and he's a little bit paranoid. He doesn't know if he's going to get fucking quick scoped. He doesn't know if it's going to be a 1v1. He doesn't know if it's going to be a fucking group of people just going to fucking dismantle him. Just literally rip his limbs off. And on top of that, Calvin's wondering if she goes up and fucking attacks him if he should fight back. Because it's a lose-lose. If you fucking fight her and beat the shit out of her, then everyone's mad because, Oh my god, you can't hit a girl no matter what, even if she's trying to fucking stab you. And if she does some Mortal Kombat fucking combo move and just KOs me, then it's super embarrassing because, oh my god, you got beat by a girl. Which, a side note, that's complete utter bullshit. All the girls in middle school are likely to be taller than the guys because they hit puberty first. So that logic is just complete utter fucking bullshit. Maybe if I was like 25, but, uh, dude, I was like 13. So Calvin meets up with one of his friends, and we're just gonna call this guy Michael Jordan, and he tells him what's going on. And uh, Michael Jordan is just like, dude, you got nothing to worry about. She's not gonna do anything to you. And as Michael Jordan is telling Calvin that, one of Chung Lee's friends runs up to Michael Jordan and Calvin and says, Hey Calvin, what's going on? Limited time offer here. I have a needle and thread that's going for only 20 bucks, and if you order right now, you're going to get it for $15. Why you need this? I'm about to tell you right now. You're going to need this to sew your fucking asshole back together from Chung Lee. <laughs> I'm joking, okay? She says, Calvin, Chung Lee is going to fuck you up, okay? And uh, as she says this, Michael Jordan laughs a little bit. I don't even remember what he said, but he laughed and just said something. And she says, you know what? Chung Lee's gonna fuck you up too. So after she says this, Michael Jordan goes from being top shit NBA superstar to... Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I was just, I was just joking around. I'm, I'm very sorry. But it's already too late. She drops the fucking mic and walks away. So after this, me and Michael Jordan just completely avoid her. We change her classes that we have with her. And this goes through fucking middle school and high school. I never look her in the eyes again, and if I do see her, I walk a little bit faster, and she never straight up beat my ass. We just completely avoided each other. It was like we both blocked each other on Skype. And sure, the whole school went on about it for at least a month, but after that, it was just done. But uh, looking back, I definitely should have gave fucking Pablo that fucking picture, man. Uh, again, back in the day, like, there wasn't that many nudes like there are now, and uh, I don't know, I just, <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be that bad, I guess. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Leave a like if you want more stories. And uh, thanks for watching and peace out.